I'm not very happy about it, but then again, I, neither one of them, to be honest, are any better than the other. <laughs> I mean, I wish we had somebody that we really could vote for and really could be about the people. I actually wasn't shocked. I thought it was coming. Um, and I just hope the Democratic Party has a plan. What I don't like about it is who's going to supersede him. Kamala Harris? Not a fan. I don't think Kamala has a chance to beat Trump. We did it before with Barack Obama. No one thought that someone with his name and, and a black man could get elected president. And look what he did. And we're at a place in our country where people want something new and fresh. I'd vote for Kamala. I mean, I really would like to see what she's been doing behind the scenes, but I would vote for her. I mean, she seems like she's for the people. I'm surprised that they're not going to put someone brand new, fresh, with, you know, no tainted record or no, I guess, opinion for the, from the people. Our lives are worse now, and Vice President Harris is riding on those coattails. So it's going to be very hard to shake that opinion when we have all witnessed uh, an economic downturn in all of our lives.